Hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here. I went down to Newburgh, North Carolina because of my father-in-law who's, uh, you know, getting up there in age and having some issues. Wife and I went down there, spent a couple of days getting some things squared away, and we had plans, which was another video I make of hitting some America stores on our way home. It's about a three-hour trip from here, so there's a couple small towns. While I was there, this town is, there's nothing really in New Bern. It's, it's, I don't know if it's a retirement town, but there's really nothing. Um, you know, you got your major stores, Walmarts, Targets, and stuff, but there's no record stores. Um, and I really was ne had never really found even a thrift store within a reasonable area. I think the closest record store is another town or so away, 30, 45 minutes away. Never anywhere that we've ever been able to find. So, as usual, I get there, and I thought, hey, times change, right? So, let's look up. And I said, Vinyl Records in New Bern. And there's an antique store, and there's a record store in there. He's got a Facebook page, and it turns out he goes places. It's like a guy with a table that's got about you know, 100 records, maybe 200 records, and he sets them up. But during the week, he's at this antique store. He's got a corner in the antique store. So I said, well, let's check it out. It's right down the street. So we went and checked it out. And I was surprised. I flipped through. You had standard stuff. You had a $3 bin. You had a $5 bin. You had a $7 bin. You had soundtracks. You had a dollar bin over here on the ground. You had classical music over here. And you had two boxes of probably maybe 50, 40, 30, 40 records a piece of just standard stuff. So I'm going through all of it. So I'm going through, let's, I'll, I'll start with this in order. Started going through, I just started laying things aside because you kind of pile up and then say, what is it I really want to take home? And uh, so I went through the $3 one and I found Sweet Freedom by Uriah Heap. So I, like I say, I started laying these aside. The thing is about this antique store, because you never know what you're going to get. Uh, just like thrift stores every album every album even the 70s albums every album that I opened and checked were spotless they didn't have scuffs or scratches or fingerprints or dirt I don't know super cleaner again sort of like the record store that we hit but that's another video even these albums from the 70s now I got them home and I played them they sound really good they have a minor amount of pops and scratches like you would expect not even visible so probably just the way they sound but I, I was just like how how are these so pristine every album I picked that was like I think there was only one album I didn't buy because it did have a mark that probably didn't even affect the play it was like a mark on it but you know I had so many I didn't didn't get it but every one of the albums I looked at this guy's store just looked new the vinyl looked new so I picked that up three dollars I thought okay Salisbury, $3. I actually had put both of these back. My wife's like, why are you putting them back? I'm like, she's like, they're only $3. I'm like, yeah, but I got these other things that are more. She's like, just buy them. It's your birthday. Again, it, it, this is the whole week before my birthday. And she's just like, just buy them. They're only $3. So Salisbury, I picked this up. Um, and these are all original presses. I mean, maybe repressed within a year or two. But again, the album, pristine. Uh, it's just, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and got these, pulled these out. Uh, I don't have anything, I think, by your eye heap on vinyl. Uh, so it was kind of cool. I, and every time I see them in the wild, either, again, either they're all beat up or they're overpriced. I've seen the Salisbury album in another antique or, you know, place around here. And they wanted like 20 bucks for it, you know. So for $3, I'm buying it. Moved over to the $4 bin, found a copy of four by Foreigner. Yes, lots of cover damage, album, pristine. I don't think it was ever played. I don't know. It doesn't look played. It doesn't sound played. It's amazingly good quality. Obviously, the album got wet. The inner sleeve has got some wrinkles. The outer sleeve has got some stickage. The vinyl itself, perfect. So grab that. That's a classic. You got to have that, right? Flipped over to the $7 bin. Michael Shanker Group first. The second Michael Shanker album and so uh yes now I hemmed and hawed on this one it's an original press from 1981 it's got this interesting thing where there's a sticker over the barcode I looked it up there's two different versions of this both of which have stickers over the barcode and there's a version of it that's translucent you hold up to the light this one is not translucent so it's a little different this is the first album I ever had by Michael Shanker it's in another video I'm dealing with I already have this album, but I have the reissue of 2018. 
This is the one I cut my teeth on as a kid. This is the American edition with the American cover versus the uh, the original UK pressing has the cover with the guys on the front with all the artwork, the scratchy artwork. So I put this one back. I'm like, even though it's nostalgic, I don't need it. My wife said, pick it up and buy it. You need it. So I'm like, you know, I just love this artwork. And so she convinced me to buy it. She's only $7. Okay, fine. I'll buy it for $7. The rest of these are from the newer bin and they're all ten dollars and above and there were quite a few decent things in there nothing i you know some things i was surprised to find some things that would have been nice but probably were a little more than i wanted to pay for them but these i didn't want to buy so i got the leonard skinner live album it's one of the only ones from the earlier days on vinyl that i you know had been looking for but never see you always see the other stuff i don't have a lot of the earlier stuff because it's either really bad shape or again beat up or pricey um, but I saw this for a good price again. It's two record set again. It was in excellent condition. Looks unplayed. So I said, "Well, that this is really I think the only one that I was going out of there with. I had this, and and that's when I started putting things back because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I'm like, this is enough. And she's like, "Well, no, buy, buy that." So anyway, I bought that. The other one, she said, "No, you have to buy," and that's Queen News to the World. Now News of the World. Because I don't have this, and this is an original copy. It's not a, you know, it's not a reissue. And um, again, it was in excellent condition. The only thing I did find out when I got home is the inside is stuck. I could rip it apart. That's a sad because that's really cool artwork in there. You can see, which I didn't see then, but you can kind of see. There's an indent there. So something happened. The album itself was out of it, out of it, and in its own sleeve over here. So. They had taken that, had gotten the album out, but, um, and I think you can still get the albums in, but yeah, there's something there that has merged this together. So sadly, I don't have a cover that I can open, but the album itself, pristine condition, looks and sounds great. So I grabbed that. And then the last thing I grabbed, I saw this, I thought it'd be cool to have, didn't really need it. At the end, I'm like, well, you know, it's really good price. So I'm going to get it. And that's the Sticks live album. I like the, the 80s sticks years, and I really, I don't have, you know, the, I want to get the, you know, Mr. Roboto album and everything. And this is the live album from that. So it's got those songs. Um, so, you know, it's just a great live album. Um, I don't have a lot of sticks on vinyl. I think I, I think I got pieces of eight. I think that's about, nope. And I got, I don't think I have Cornerstone. Um, Paradise Theater, the, the, the theater one, um, I bought that without the cover. But anyway, so picking up some sticks here and there. But that was it. So went to that. That was the first stop on our road to New Bern and back was finding this thrift, this antique store in town. So I guess when I go back, I'll be able to check this place out again. I'm surprised some of the stuff he had. I'm like, how does he get this and how's in such great condition? Great stuff, though. Picked up some good ones. And that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.